Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about New World. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the state of New World. With all that being said, though, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. As always, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about New World, where it's at, what it's at, and uh, if you still play the game or not. Uh, with on top of that, uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, please, if you like the video. But of course, as always, let's go ahead and jump in to the conversation about New World, and let's go ahead and talk about how we're going to talk about this. So first off, we're going to talk about what's changed since my last video within the game, uh, and then we are going to talk about um, what remains unchanged, things that I've suggested, things that the community has complained about, uh, and then we're going to get into the statistics of New World, and then we're going to talk about um, what could have caused those changes in the numbers. So let's go ahead and jump into the changes. Uh, there have been two patches pretty much since we have... Um, last spoken about this, uh, one of which was banning uh, exploits and coin sellers. Uh, they fixed some combat glitches out there. Uh, they fixed outpo outpost rush. And supposedly they fixed a lot of the issues within wars. Um, and then 1.1 came out, and that was with the Void Gauntlet uh, that came out in there on top of it. They changed some crafting bugs and some trading issues. But overall, they've got the new Gauntlet that came out, I believe actually that came out um, between 1.5 and 1.1 uh, right here with Into the Void um, on... Yeah, 1.1 and 1.11, I apologize. So there's been three updates. Uh, with all that being said, though, um, that means we have a new weapon that came out. We've had a little bit of uh, fixes that are some major fixes that needed to be fixed months ago um, at the start of the game and all that kind of interesting stuff. So with all that being said, those are the things that have changed that they've pushed out there. Um but one of the biggest things that have remained unchanged is ways to make money. Um, when server transfers came out, there's been this big um, conversation around people that are uh, leaders of companies. And basically what they do is they get their company to make a bunch of money uh, in order to have a bunch of money for themselves. They just go ahead, take all the money out of the company, go ahead and transfer servers and take all the money and change the name. And that's it. And so then they have infinite money and they can do whatever the heck they want on a different server. And because we have free server transfers, that's all they have to do. And they can just disappear off into the sunset. Uh, so with all that being said, um, another thing that has uh, not changed is quality content and end game content. Uh, I'm going to kind of lump those together because there really hasn't been a change in the content that exists in the game. There's not new dungeons, new anything coming out really, uh, other than the Void Gauntlet that came out. So one new weapon came out that they actually showed us uh, before, uh, which is kind of funny that they show us before and they've been developing this for a while and it just came out and it still isn't great and there's still issues with it. Uh, and so what we've learned is there's not really anything happening uh, and it's going to be important to note within the game. Uh, and there have not been fixes for all the problems out there, um, which do include uh, the making money part where there's no vendor, there's no real way to make money other than through the trader. And that's pretty much the only way you can make money is through other players. So um, with that being said, if the player place decreases, then you're going to lose money. It's pretty much the best way to put it. Um, so if the, if the player base continues to fall, then you're just going to lose money. So with that being said, let's go ahead and look at the numbers. So when the game first launched, there were 913 co-current players. That means at one time, the highest it ever reached was 913 players. Um, now that's just saying that's how many it played at once. That's all we're talking about. Uh, since then, in the last 24 hours, the lowest number we have seen is 122,000 players as a concurrent peak, and that number is decreasing rapidly as you can see by this line falling down here um, there's days where it only hits 90,000 and things like that so with that being said what kind of loss are we talking there we're in right now just beyond this last 24 hours and the current all-time peak you have a player base loss of 86.55 percent that is almost 90 percent and if you go to the 90k um, it would be 90 percent of the player base is no longer concurrently playing. Now, we have to, while that number is staggering, and that is a huge sign for the game, if you have almost a million players and you drop down to 100,000 in less than 76 days, so if you didn't know, it's been 76 days since this game launched, or just a little bit over three and a half months, and, or I'm sorry, two and a half months, I apologize, not three and a half, 
um, and you've lost 90% of your player base, you should be looking at this as what the heck are we doing wrong and how can we change it? Um, but at this point, I don't think there is anything they can do to save where the game is going. But let's talk about what could be causing the drop in players and what could cause it possibly to spike again as these ads cycle. Uh, one of the options is uh, introducing new end game content that allows players to continually play and chase certain items, uh, which could be why people aren't playing right now. People just might log in, pay their taxes, maybe do a little bit of looting, maybe do a dungeon here and there and log off. And that's it. And that's all they need to do. Um, they might do that once a week or once, uh, you know, every five days, I think is actually technically what it is and pay their bills and move on. Um, and that means you're not going to have people playing for long periods of time because they don't need anything anymore because everything's on one character. This is one of those flaws within that whole, you have one character that can do everything uh, basis is bases. I don't know exactly the right word. Um, that it produces that. So games like World of Warcraft and other MMOs, you have to create alternates to do all the things and have all the spells and have all the weapons and have everything you could ever want. You had to literally play other characters. So you'd be leveling up other characters right now in this lull between end game content. Well, there is not that option here. So that could be part of it. Um, the second is just people stop playing the game. Um, there has been a massive drop, I know, in people that just don't care about it because they don't, want to play it anymore. I know people that are still within my group of friends that play it and they've hit max level and they enjoy it. Uh, and I'm like, great, that's awesome on you. Um, I can say officially, I no longer play the game. I have not played it probably in excess of a month. Um, and I don't miss it at all, uh, unfortunately. Um, so with all that being said, what can we say? Well, my, my guess says is this was a great money grab by Amazon. They got a bunch of money off of it and the game flopped super hard and that's going to be the end of it. Uh, this could punish Lost Ark. It could not, but it's going to be on the consumers to decide that. I will say this though, simply put, uh, if you look at my banner here now, there is no longer new world creator. I will no longer be making any new world content after this. It's far as I know. I can't promise that because maybe some new content comes out that excites me and I decide to play it. But as of right now, until anything changes, I have no intentions of playing New World again. It has been uninstalled on my computer and I am pretty much done with it. So um, I just want to be clear about that at the end of this video, show my biases that are there. Uh, but I tried to give a most unbiased opinion of where this game is at. Um, but when you lose 90% of your player base, I don't think there is a bias that can prevent you from saying, there's something going on with the game and you got to pay attention to it. So uh, my guess is probably in the next couple months, it's going to drop to even 50% of what it is now. There'll still be those hardcore players that continue to play it. Uh, but as new games come out, uh, that will pull people away, um, hopefully at higher quality and higher content. Um, that's where we're going to be at. So that's my thoughts on that whole situation. That's where New World's at. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Um, if you agree with me, let me know. Uh, if you disagree with me, let me know also. I'm just giving you my what the numbers are telling me. I'm giving you what my thoughts are about why there could be um, the lack and, and all that kind of information. So I hope you all have a fantastic day, and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.